um, a friend of mine recommended this restaurant. He said it was really romantic. Yeah, it, it's nice. What does your friend do? He's an economic analyst. Oh. I once knew someone who had a dog. I don't think she ever ate at this restaurant, though. Have you ever eaten here before? Nope. No. First time. Yeah. Me too. I heard the lobster's pretty good. Mmm, great. Yeah. Did you see that show last night? What show? You know, with that guy, that funny guy. Um... What's that show called? You know, it's on Channel 4. You know, that guy, that guy with the things. You know, the things on his head? Mm -hmm. That show. No, why? What what happened to that last night? Oh, it was really funny. Oh, my cable got shut off last night, so I, I didn't really, I didn't see much. Um, well, but I have a neighbor that does, uh, uh, he does sock puppet theater. It's just cool because he used to play soccer, so he's got lots of these really different colored kind of socks. Have you ever done this before? D done what? This whole blind date thing. No, uh, this is actually my first one. Yeah, me too. Where do you work? I heard you were in computer. Yeah, yeah. I work for Ray Tech Systems. Mm. And right now I'm developing new packet drivers for a binary protocol system my friend is programming. Mm. You see, he's been experiencing a lot of difficulty resolving the IPs. Mm -hmm. It turns out that our ISC and wires were crap. So, our network tech thought that a T1 or T2 was in too quick processing to process. So, we're going to. Right. Wow, how about that? Yeah. I read somewhere that most Middle East Americans have 10 pounds of undigested red meat in their colon. Hmm. 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 You know, that's really interesting. My father has a lot of blood in his stool. Hmm. <laughs> Are your parents from around here? No. Um, my parents were incinerated when I was three. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Seen any good movies lately? Yeah, yeah. I, I caught the, the new one downtown, uh, that oh. new uh, Holocaust film. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty neat. I'm not much of a conversationalist, but I think things were going pretty well otherwise. God, I hate small talk. So. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any gum? After dinner, we left the restaurant and couldn't really think of anything good to do. So what do you feel like doing now? Uh, jeez. I don't know. Um, what do you want to do? Um, uh, well, we, we could, um, I don't know, what. Yeah, you know, I'm really up for just about anything. Yeah, yeah, me too. Do you drink coffee? Um, no, not really. Oh, 
Because I thought maybe we could go back to my apartment for some coffee or something. I would love some coffee. She had a pretty nice apartment. After we got there, we sat and talked and drank coffee. <laughs> I really don't like coffee. And actually, I'm extremely allergic to the caffeine. But, you know, I didn't want to ruin the evening or anything. How's your coffee? <laughs> Strong. <laughs> Yeah, it's good though. I mean, you make a pretty mean cup of coffee. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I just I kind of like it strong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you've been drinking coffee long? I <laughs> you know, I was um watching TV last night. Uh -huh. Um, have you seen that show? You know that show with with the lady and she has like this crazy red curly hair and she just runs around like and opens doors and slams them into people's faces. Do you know what I'm talking about? I love Lucy. No, 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 no. It's like a mirror show. Oh. I really like Lucy. Really? Yes. My mom used to kind of look like Lucy. She did. Well, not like. Lucy, when she was like crushing the grapes, Lucy. Yeah. But like, you know, the one with, with the candy and she was putting it in a box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know my mom ate a lot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You have very beautiful eyes. Sure. I turned off the TV, and that's when I noticed that he looked really sick. I had a really bad allergic reaction to all the caffeine I drank, and um, my face kind of got swollen and bloated. I was feeling kind of nauseous and was having trouble breathing. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. How are you doing? It's, it's just like... Your face is all puffy. Really? Yeah. Huh. I feel okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm I'm doing great. Well, would you like some more coffee? I would love some more coffee. And I I don't remember too much after that. He passed out on my couch. We exchanged phone numbers in the hospital, and, well, that was that. I wanted to call her and ask her out again, but, darn it, I, I just don't think I made a very good first impression. He was really cute, and I'd like to see him again, but... I don't think he likes me very much. I mean, if she was interested, she would have called me by now, right? Whatever, I mean, it's not like we were meant for each other on some, some cosmic level or anything. Women just don't understand me. Come to think of it, this is a problem that a lot of women seem to have. He probably would have eventually dumped me, and I just realized what another pathetic, emotional delusion this whole dating thing was in the first place. What <laughs> jerk. You know, relationships are a lot like those little packets of condiments you get at fast food restaurants. 
They're these little magical things that can last forever on a shelf, but once you open them up, they go bad really fast. Uh, I just don't understand condiments. 